This is question number three. It says given that 2 cos of x plus 50 degrees is equal to sine of x plus 40 degrees, in part A for four marks, show without using the calculator that tan x degrees is equal to one third tan of 40 degrees. A few different approaches here. I can see this equation doesn't have the 50 in. I'm going to go back to two basic trig identities. Sine of x is equal to the cos of 90 minus x. We also know that cos x can be written as sine of 90 minus x. I'm going to use this now for my expression for cosine here. So what I'm going to do is write that cos of x plus 50 could be written as sine of 90 minus that. So that's going to give me now sine of 40 minus x. I'm going to use this and substitute this in. So this is one approach that you could use. So we're going to have 2 sine of 40 minus x will be equal to the sine of x plus 40, or if I wanted, I could say 40 plus x. Let's now go to some addition formulae. We know that the sine of a plus b will be equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. If I now have sine of a minus b, this is going to give me the same, sine a cos b, but this time minus cos a sine b. And that's why I'm looking at writing this as 40 plus x rather than x plus 40. It's just going to make the, uh, the work just very slightly easier. So let's go ahead. We're going to have two lots of sine of 40 cos x minus cos of 40 sine x and that will now be equal to sine 40 cos x and then we're going to have plus cos 40 sine x. So if we just expand the bracket here we've got 2 sine of 40 cos x minus 2 cos of 40 sine x and that will be equal to sine 40 cos x plus cos 40 sine x. So if we collect like terms, I'm going to subtract now sine 40 cos x from both sides. So that's going to give me sine 40 cos x. And I'm going to add 2 cos 40 sine x to both sides, which gives me 3 cos 40 sine x. Let's now think of another trig identity. I know that sine x over cos x will give me tan x. So I'm going to use this right here. And we can do it step by step or we can go straight at it. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. I'm going to divide both sides now by cos 40. So sine 40 over cos 40. And I'm going to divide both sides by cos x. So we've got sine x over cos x. So we can see now that one third sine 40 over cos 40 is tan 40 will be equal to sine x over cos x, which is tan x as required. So that is one way round. So that's the first part done for four marks. In part B it says, hence solve for theta between 0 and 360 degrees. 2 cos of 2 theta plus 50 degrees is equal to sine of 2 theta plus 40 degrees, giving your answers to one decimal place. So part B also carries four marks. We can use the part that we found in part A to simply rewrite this. We can see that in this particular case, x will be equal to 2 theta. So all I'm going to write for part B is that we're going to have now tan of 2 theta will be equal to 1 third tan of 40 degrees. If we think about one third tan of 40 degrees, this is just a numeric answer. It isn't a tan function, it's just a number. So what I'm going to do is solve this. So you can solve this however you want. I'm going to write that two theta will be equal to the inverse tan, and this might sound slightly counterintuitive, the inverse tan of one third a tan of 40. And then we're going to have now subsequent solutions for two theta 180 degrees on. The tan curve cycles every 180 degrees. 
So let's go ahead and find a principal value for this. Shift mode, three in degrees mode. We want now the inverse tan of the tan of 40 over three. And then we're going to now simply go ahead and write that in. So that is going to give me 15.626 and so on and so forth. So we can write that two theta will be equal to 15.6 dot 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 plus multiples of 180. So we can say that theta will be equal to half of this value. So if we divide this by two, that's going to give me now 7.813 and so on and so forth. 7.813 dot 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 plus now multiples of 90 degrees. So if we list these out, we need to give them to one decimal place. We can say from here that theta will be equal to 7.8. We can have the next one, which will be 97.8. The next one, which will be 187.8. And the next one will be 277.8. Any more, and I'm going to go outside the interval where theta is between 0 and 360. So lots of different approaches here, 7.8, 97.8, they're just going to be multiples of 90 on. Entirely up to you on how you want to solve, but this is what we should end up with. So with that question, you can approach this differently, you can certainly approach that differently, but we should end up with these.